This is Mast and welcome back to some more Predecessor. Today we're playing a little bit of Morigesh in the middle lane, who I've played quite a few times today and have put myself through a lot of pain and suffering in order to play today. So yeah, very vulnerable mage, probably worst character in the game, Revenant might be worse. Just does a lot of things really badly while not doing other things well enough to actually be worth playing. That said, she's fun when you don't get absolutely farmed and punished all game. Um, she is that character that like you lock in and people are like, God damn it, this guy's playing Morigash. So we'll see what happens this game. Um, yeah, I've had like a 14-0 game today. I don't have any crazy feed fast games. Normally, whenever things start going bad, they like get better later on. Um, as I'm able to like make my own plays and just straight up do more damage, so I can at least like successfully one shot some people. I want to get active with this Gideon a little bit if I can. So he actually might let me right here. No, he's really not going to let me at all. Okay. Yeah, I was looking to, to get a little active there. Let's see. I actually don't know. Greystone, I feel like, could start red or blue probably, right? Man's got both ability damage and autos. I'm going to assume he starts red and play a little more aggro up here if we're allowed. Do we got level 2 advantage temporarily, but then he gets that. Damn, he is playing so afraid. Yeah, Morning has somebody where, like, sometimes, depending on the matchup at least, it's really nice to get active with her early on. I don't really feel like just chucking high, but it doesn't hit all that hard. It's more important that we land the mark right now, and we're not getting the opportunity to. So yeah, I'm kind of just putting myself a little out of position for literally no gain right now. He's playing so far back. Playing ridiculously far back. Jungle got a kill over an off lane, which is nice for us. Um, boop! Our big power spike is going to come online. Oh no. Siege minions. Siege minions doing too much damage. Ruining my CS. There we go. All right, we'll probably dip into the jungle, get a little ward. Sure enough, he did come from left side. I wonder, can I just absolutely int this? Can I just greed the shit out of this river buff? I think I can. I got a jungler nearby. Let me cook. Hello. Let's see if he's down to rotate to this. This isn't like a spam ping, where is my jungler type moment. Um, it's a uh, please come here so we get a murder the guy type of moment. Boop. Nice. Cook this man too. Nice. That's actually a really good play by me, if I do say so myself. <laughs> oh, I should have taken that off. We don't have... Actually, it doesn't really matter. We don't have the cooldowns in time. If I did have my hive a little sooner there, we maybe kill? I'm assuming we still don't. Let's see, do we try and max the mark this game? With him playing as passive as he has so far, we almost have to be maxing the bees, I think. Which I'm going to be... I'm probably going to call the hive bees. I don't even know if they're actually bees. Like, I naturally think, even though I haven't seen the movie, I feel like most people just haven't seen the movie and they've just seen the meme. I think of the Nick Cage, not the bees meme. So, like, that's just a little more iconic for me. Naturally, that's just what I'm going to try and say. But I don't know what it is. Maybe we can get a little lore out of the uh, ability description. I don't know. Boop. So, Morigash, capable of being very aggro. Um, but we're very worried about getting, like, kind of tanks going on us for free, getting CC'd, not being able to kill hard enough to, like, pay off being this immobile. A lot of different things. By the way, this is a really good back for us. We get a nice T2. Um, we get the wave pushed in tower, so it shouldn't push too far in his favor. It should get enough um, farmed hard enough by tower that we should actually be able to get back, and it should be closer to the middle of the lane, although I might just be wrong because it's in his tower line, but <laughs> hopefully the minions don't push themselves too hard. We did use Flash, which is a little bit scary. I'm not sure how much this guy on, um... What is his name? Why can't I think of it? Why can't I think of it? I don't know. Greystone. There we go. Boom. Hey! No, no, no. Stop it. He does just win that poke trade when, you know, he lands the stuff after I attempted to clear wave. That's okay. Do I hit you with that? Oh, I do. And I'm chunking with that. We're actually sustaining really well right here, too. Not too shabby at all. We're playing on East Coast servers, by the way. I don't think I'm going to constantly play on them. Um, actually, it's late enough in the evening now that I could totally switch back to West. But I found West player base definitely seems to be smaller. So, luckily in this game, somehow, even though they're practically indie devs, um, and I don't mean that in a mean way, just like I feel like that's just true. Uh, what is their team? <laughs> support? That, is that support Grux that yoinked the, the gray buff right there? And then ran off lane, or is it off lane Grux? No, I guess it supports Steel, right? I don't even—I don't know what's happening, man. It is support Steel. What a weirdo! Boop. 
Oh, we actually got ult there. I don't have the cooldowns to do stuff here. Greystone might be coming back. I do want to do things if he'll let me. We don't have flash, but I'm rather healthy. We got a rampage kind of nearby. I can probably play aggro here. Will you goof? Will you goof? Yes, you will. Oh, that was so clean. What the hell are you doing here? What? By the way, they did, I think, ping that, or did they just go over the ward? Like, Shannon, I'm pretty sure Duel Lane tried to ping that for me. I'm more so just confused than, than anything. Like, I wouldn't have been yelling at them just because ADC rotated. I'm still confused. I don't... Like, she didn't even play that aggro. I feel like she could have played a lot more aggro. I don't think she gets to kill me. I don't think she gets that hard yet, but... Yeah, that was... I don't know. That was such a clean engage on, on Gideon, man. Little Q into Mark into ult, just like insta-combo. To just farm him. Oh. Yeah, nice start for us so far this game. It's definitely fortunate that it's a Grux offlane. Um, who's also getting bopped by our jungler, by the way. But it's fortunate that it's a Grux offlane and not a Grux jungle. Grux so disgusting to me. Where is Greystone, like I'm sure he very much gets to do what he wants, but the stuff that he wants to do isn't anywhere near as scary as what Grux can do. If that makes any sense. Like Gideon's a very safe character. It's not really a big deal if he's a uh, safe character. You're not going to hold that on. Huh? I'm going to try and get what damage I can on him here. Damn, I didn't read that right. That's too bad. Yeah, you guys having a little 1v1? Boop. Is this for me? You lovely man? I would tell him thanks, but I don't remember how to type it. It takes like four things or something. What the, buddy? Okay, you have a dual lane, that's fair. Entire dual lane was about ready to just rotate on my face. I don't really know why, unless they just thought I would chase that hard. I guess that's maybe understandable. All right, should we talk about Morgash Kid a little bit in terms of like what the actual abilities do since a lot of people have either barely played this game or not played this game that are watching? Maybe we should, but maybe instead we attack left lane. Yes, the VGS is that clean now. Yes, I'm that clean with it. I don't think we catch this guy ever. Yeah, plus he has dash. I was hoping he wouldn't. If we were able to uh, to get in range to mark him, we can slow him with the Q. But we were not. And then even then, like if he has dash, I don't think the slow matters. Although I think he might chase in here and I might just be able to turn on him and one shot him. See what he does. I'll save my Q a little bit. Never mind, he's not going in. See if we can go mid after this. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He really did just yoink it. That is too bad. And he might... Oh, what a rock, man. Uh, I might get just the greediest ever right here. Never mind. I was so ready to... I was thinking about... No, it's fine if he gets outsmited there. That's not a big deal. I was thinking about flashing in to try and one-shot steal with uh, Mark Combo and then ult. But really, probably not worth wasting flash for... Especially a maybe kill. Even an actual kill. Did, was there a plant somewhere that you used? I, how did he fly all over? Did he actually flash? <laughs> I might try and play it going forward like he did flash. I don't know if he did, though. I think I just missed something somehow. Boop! Alright, that's not really going to push very well for me, but we really need to back. There's a river buff I could maybe yoink right there. I think. That's okay. Going to Wraith Leggings next. Yeah, let's talk about the kid a little bit. So the big thing that actually is good for Morgash, very, very strong, is her passive. We just straight up do dot damage based on max health, um, both their health and then our magical power are, are what scales it up. So we can just kind of constantly be dotting them in a really obnoxious way. That's really, really strong. And then Megacosm, the item we just finished, is kind of the same thing. Uh, do I get to do this? We at least go unpunished. Yeah, I thought Gideon was doing that. Oh, he's so spooked, too. Let's see. Do you greed for wave? And let me murder you momentarily, because that would be lovely. You know what else would be lovely is maybe we go uh, do a little right lane gank, huh? A little something? Yeah, a little something? I think I'll try and pad all the way around here. I don't know if this is going to turn into anything. Because unfortunately, Grux went in super early. Like, I think I said attack right lane. He's like, oh, I'm attacking right lane. Attack. Yeah, I was going to cut him off behind, but of course, that was the very moment Greystone ulted. Damn, I don't think I actually got all the damage I wanted there. Uh, this man surely is dead. Pretty sure Mark went on Greystone, so I'm not going to actually ult here. 
No, you don't get to do that. <laughs> Try and take the opportunity to ult. Hopefully we get a turn and kill. Uh, I think we might. A little slow. Oh, that's a flash down. Yeah, I guess he never flashed. Oh, what a rock! Get him! Get him! Let's go. Good stuff, man. Our rampage has been putting in work so far. And he gave me that purple buff earlier. No, I didn't forget. It's like the one time a woman like actually hits on you. You remember it for life, man. You remember it for life. The, the same thing, man. You get the help from the homies. You get a compliment. You look good that day. Oh my God, you feel so good. All those different little moments. Even in games, they add up. I don't know where I'm going with this. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with this. We dip. Let me go back. Nice. Yeah, off to a really good start. The jungle mid combo is just going kind of crazy at the moment. Nope. Nice try. Such a bait of an item. Someday when I get into like, I don't know, especially once ranked comes out and then maybe the player base gets bigger. I feel like, I don't know, maybe at the absolute peak, the absolute pinnacle of predecessor gamers, stasis is good, but I have yet to find um, like any games, like a single time where I have built stasis in any game um, where I have been like, yes, my team will actually clean up and help me out while I pop stasis. No, they won't, man. At best case, they do a little bit and it's still not worth. So we're going whatever this version is. This version is a lot more. We could actually make plays and it feels good. And it's less like, please, somebody help me for the two and a half seconds that I'm sitting here and it's so free. And then they just don't. And they're just oblivious. Is it cooking time? I kind of assumed he would portal there. That's why I kept flicking away because I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> he's trying to win this, huh? No, your buddy. Let's go left. As much as the VGS system in Smite is better than the system in this, there is something unbelievably satisfying in a way, maybe it's just because it's new to me, of, of flicking all these little uh, buttons. Okay, let's try and not be dead. Yeah, let's do the attempt to not be dead thing. I don't think it's going to work out so well. Yeah. I didn't know Greystone was down there, and then he's also full HP, and then we're not going to get rotations, so we're just like caught out of position. It's just bad. That's too bad. I probably got a, I got a little too excitable to rotate over there because they were low, but it was basically just a low HP ADC and me. So like we didn't really have that much to offer. I didn't even have ultimate either. And I had no way to get to Sparrow. She actually pad the way she did, but that's all right. And then Rampage getting a little, hopefully mini prime. Man is just sitting on the damage. So that's not good. Oh, I went back to it. <laughs> if you guys are ever doing mini prime, don't sit on this stuff on the ground, by the way. I am I am very much still pretty new to this game. I learned that pretty early on. You got like that is like the one thing to think about in that in the mini prime. It's like just don't sit on the burn. It's pretty visible. Let's see if we can help this guy. I think he's just dead. Oh my god, he lived so long though. Yeet! Yeah, okay. Yeah, alright. Huh? No, I had to hope. Uh, maybe actually could do Fangtooth. Just kidding. There's a support here. It would have been ballsy anyways, because we don't have our, our smite up or whatever it's actually called. Is it called like hunt? I don't think anybody calls it that. I think that might be the actual name for it. I will probably rotate left. I'll be a little less excitable and I won't say attack. I'll just say that I'm coming. Uh... Okay, this might just yet again get bad for me. It's a 1v2 this time when I go in instead of 1v3. We do have big shield here. Oh god, it's so close. You have any more damage for me, man. It's too bad. No way my ult kills him. I don't think, even if a squishy had that much HP left, I don't think it'd be killing. We don't have an extra level in it either. So, I'm just gonna not ult. Back to mid we go. That's unfortunate, man. I'm assuming like Twin Blast had ult there. I think totally if we get better follow-up, that's a kill. I think he just straight up goofed that. Mid is missing. Just kidding. Yeah, you just grab river buff. You gonna get excitable? I actually like her E's not good. Oops, I thought I was in last hit range. Her E is not good, but it is actually really fun to just go face mash through wave and heal up. Okay, Greystone kinda 
I'm worried about actually getting run at here. Uh, this looks really good. We actually still have steel marked, I think. Oh my god, he's getting in there. Okay, definitely would rather go for ADC. Let's see if we can actually catch the steel. Where the hell did you get to, man? Did you run out of tower? Do you think you're safe? Whoop, oh, hello. Well, he's just dead now. Actually, I probably shouldn't have ulted yet. I might have killed him with passive plus megacosm. That's okay. Nice. Then we do a little fang tooth. Rampage is way ahead of us. So as we get a little more scaled up on this character, uh, we're going to do a lot more stuff. Our mark doesn't scale all that hard. The base damage difference as we get leveled is nice. The damage from items is not all that nice. It only does like 40% damage or 40% scaling. But the Q will hit a lot harder. The ult a little lot harder. Um, the E just straight up like does a lot more healing and stuff. Boop. Boop. I think we'll grab one more wave here. Why not? I think the next item we're going to go is going to be, uh, guys, it called Lifebringer. I think it might be called Lifebringer. We'll grab at least one of these river buffs as well while we're right here. Yeah, we'll get a lot of mana back from these, but we don't really... God, actually, do I rotate? They're kind of just going crazy on the Greystone here. No, I'm going to leave them be. Surely they can win 3v1 him. Yeah, I think we'll get a little life seal going. Although I could get a little weird and go this. I've been really enjoying this item, though. Now let's go this. This is such a cool item. Yeah, we get damage, we get health, we get a bunch of life seal, um, which there's not much magical life seal as far as I'm aware. And then we also get a bunch of ability haste based on health and magic power from items. Boop! Yeah, you scared? Keep running. Keep running! I don't know how to call be careful right, and I'm not going to dig through the menu to find out. The, the ones that I'm clean with are only the ones that I've learned. See, I want to rotate in a little slow here since we were lacking vision. Uh, buddy? Narbash? <laughs> come come right? <laughs> I don't know why. It seemed like he wanted to protect me in mid, but like we're not, there's nothing to do in mid. That's okay. We wouldn't have gotten here in time anyways. See, I want to see if, uh, if we can do anything here. Steel's actually really killable, and I don't think there's any way they know I'm right here. I'm trying to ping so hard for it, man. It's so greedy. I think we can actually do stuff. Rampage has everything up. I have everything up. Okay, that should be a massive blink. We did get CC'd out of ultimate. That's too bad. Yeah, I was hoping uh, they split really weird there. So I didn't think they'd be grouped underneath and mid the way they were. I thought we'd have a little more forewarning for where they were. They just happened to be around that mid corner and we don't get to do as much. It does suck that Narbash, like, I pinged the absolute shit out, out of that in advance. He just, like, went to farm dual in. So, that's a little bit rough for us, because that fight goes a lot better if we had him and it wasn't a 2v4. But we got a 1 for 2. It's not the worst. For it to go bad and be a 1 for 2, I'm kind of alright with that. Yeah, I'm kind of worried. I feel like me and Rampage are going to be doing basically everything all game with how it's going so far. So, I'm probably going to be relying super heavily on him. Which is part of why I actually felt confident forcing that fight. But we did get absolutely ult dumped on, man. My god. I assumed after the cleanup in right lane, they would not just have every single thing up. And they sure did. Boop. Boop. Alright, so we don't have flash for a while. Kind of want to go on that Grux. He doesn't have that much farm. He's not tanky either. Try and delete this real quick. Yeah, let's see if we can actually punish him at all. I'm coming. I might be the one that gets punished. We'll have to see. I do have this little outright. Ooh, hang on, hang on. Hang on, hang on. Never mind. It's bad. We're running. I tried. I really did try. Eat that. Oh, they did. They ate it all right. That absolutely chunked. Should we int? We could take this. Take the little boom plant in. Eat more! Oh! 
<laughs> We're running. I did absolutely chonk them with that, but I still can't be running up there too much. We're just getting all this poke in. Oh my god, do damage. He really tried to he really tried to do that to me. Look at me casually CSing my own minion wave, and this man sprinted in to try and yoink it last second from me. That is despicable behavior. I actually see that an insane amount in this game. I don't think people mean to do it maliciously. I think they just genuinely don't think about it at all. It's one thing when you're just like casually clearing a wave as a group and you're just kind of CSing what you CS. But it is insane to me how often people are like, they see minions in execute range and they will just book it at it and be like, I need this. This is money that could go in my pocket. You think they think about that in real life too? You think like everybody that does that? Uh, never mind. We, we don't need that. <laughs> I'm, I'm basically kidding. We don't need to dig that deep into it. Like the greedy fucks that scam you out all your money in life. They're those people. No. No, I don't think it's that deep. All right. Uh, yeah, probably don't. Well, it seems like it's a pretty bad fight to be forcing. We could maybe look at... Oh, just kidding. They're here. Oh, I got him low. I got him dead. Buddy, can you... Thank God he missed that, man. He would have canceled that. I do. I don't know why her ult is not CC man, by the way. Like, I'm, I'm spoiled because I play Smite and there's a lot of CC immune ults, but like, my god, man, this ult isn't good enough to not be CC immune. It has such a long channel, let me cast it. Should be dead. Don't know if we're going to kill him. Ah, uh, I'm kind of zooming. No, I'm kind of zooming, though. Oh, please. That's a slow. That's a kill. Oh, yeah. Nice. I wonder if I should actually be trying this, uh, this Dream Biter item. Let's let's slow more. I just kind of feel like it's probably not worth it. It's so much like Gem of Iso from Smite. Gem of Iso is almost always bad, so <laughs> that's kind of my assumption with it. It does actually give decent damage, but I feel like it lacks a lot of other stats at the same buddy, same time. Do you get to do this? I'm just getting like lost. Okay, I don't know. I got stuck in a wall. I think I think there was a pathway somewhere, and I just yeah, it was to my left. <laughs> I tried to take it, but I wasn't sure where it was. So I was just button mashing while I like hoped I could find my way out. I don't think that's a big deal. We got a T2 tower there. Oh, that was so close. And I also had an absolutely absurd amount of money to go back with. So we could have cooked a lot harder there if I backed already. Yeah, it's a tough one, man. It's a tough one. It is fairly 2v5 at the moment. What is this? This builds all over the place. Yeah, like it recommends Dreambinder, but do I care what it recommends? How much prot do they have? Not really any, not really any. Yeah, they have they have his prot. People always sleeping on the magic damage, man. Should I go true silver bracelet? I know this is a Gideon item that's popular. Fuck it. Watch this like somehow not even work with my ultimate. I'm pretty sure it will. Let me let me actually try this out, man. 20% shield, I'm assuming the 20% is based off of HP from items. It might not be, I don't know. Give me my farm, man. He doesn't have farm to do right now, it's all pushed, so I don't blame him for trying to take this. But also, we're going to CS everything we possibly can in my own lane. And honestly, you know, I'm kind of doing the killing. I probably would have yoinked it out of his lane, too. Let's be honest. Okay, I'd like to not be dead. I might be dead. It's a little preemptive to say that, but I feel like we're probably getting rotated on. Although, actually, there is just a billion people in right lane, so maybe not. Rampage is going in. I'll try and get in there. I'm coming. Can probably cut him off right through here. Please! You're dead. You're dead! Nice. We actually, I'm pretty sure that was the true solar proc I just saw right there. No, come here. What the... You're next! You're not. I think I hit the Q on him. I feel like I chunked him hard enough. I almost had to have. <laughs> Aww. Stupid twin blast auto has got the last hit. What, buddy? You're dead. Right? There you are. Okay, what are what is happening? Sparrow's just casually getting in him, by the way. I feel like we should either be backing or, like, pushing this. And instead, we're somehow doing neither. Well, we tried it. Boop. All right. Let's probably just go back. I don't think there's anything else to do here. 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is actually going to be a troll item, by the way. But I figured we'd just give it a shot. Just because I was actively thinking about it. Do we go Caustica just in case they ever actually build magic defense? I feel like that's probably a good idea. I don't think there's any other items we care about all that much. Yeah, Caustica is just straight up like a pen item. You just ignore a stupid amount of armor. And you also, you also get a lot of mana back, but so far that hasn't been the biggest issue. We definitely are capable of running Super Oom um on this character for sure, but I feel like so far the fights haven't been going on so long that it's really been a problem. What are we doing, man? That, no, go, yep, that's what I thought. Bing! It's kind of crazy that, uh, like, we're late game on a mage, and I still have to use two abilities to clear wave, one of which I have to run my face through the wave, and then it still has worse wave clear than Gideon just pressing Q. I feel like we could maybe use a little love on Morigesh, and the Q could maybe be bigger and do more base damage. But maybe that's just me. I think I actually hit that on him. Did a little chonking. I guess we'll go on steel. Not really who I want to be going on. Nice, that should be Sparrow dead. Just kidding, I hit somebody else. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> oh no. You dead to that? That's so troll, man. I thought I marked her there. I scuffed that so hard on this Garrow kill. Or Sparrow kill. You kill me? That was close. Yeah, that's too bad. And she lived 1 HP through my stuff. That is tragic. I scuffed multiple parts of that on her. Rest of the fight wasn't the worst. I'm surely just ran mid, huh? How much life seal do you have? Just this? She was healing so much. All right, we're full build. We defend right lane. We murder a Grux if he lets me. Grux? Grux? What are we doing, man? He gets move speed out of that, so he should just be gone. Alright, back to mid we go. Yes, I oint some CS, okay? I'm trying to be huge. Actually, to be honest, we're deep enough in the game and I'm full enough build, I probably shouldn't be trying to oink CS. Because at this point, I don't really have much more to build. God, I've gotten my build so fast. I feel like it's not normal to get it done this fast. We have good CS, we have a stupid amount of kills. I think the items I built are relatively cheap for the most part. Like, True Silver, I think, is only like 2600, which is crazy cheap in this game. I wanted to do more there, but they're actually getting some rotations. Yeah, you oinked it. Okay, well, luckily I got it. I was actually going to give him that CS there. I'm thinking we probably just do Fangtooth. We're getting really deep for no reason. They're going to rotate on this. Did not know a Grux was there. We maybe could have one-shot him. That's too bad. To be fair, I don't think there's really a way for us to know that, though. <laughs> God damn. Every time, man. People are so greedy with the boom plants. Let the team stack on it so we all get to hop over. Alright, this is primal, so we get a crazy buff out of it. It's not our third, so we don't get the permanent buff, but we get a really strong, especially on Mortigush, really strong as well. Um, little damage amp. But we'll have to see. It can be pretty punishing. If they rotate in, we could definitely get messed up. We don't have great vision for it. I'm actually going to put a little extra ward down here. Get a little more vision. They might go prime. Yeah, I think there's a decent chance they're on that, so I'm trying to call this. Yeah, that's too bad. In my limited experience, that's like actually a pretty even split, though. Both both these buffs are pretty ridiculous. Primal might even just be better, I'm not sure. Sucks. I don't really feel like I get to do that much here. Oh, maybe now? I don't really know who's low. Or who's marked. It's whoever just fucking died. <laughs> Probably. I don't know. Steel, apparently. Yeah, we killed Steel with it. I do have Flash now, so we can kill Gideon almost for sure. Oh, bro! Okay, it didn't actually Flash. That's good. It's like, how are you just eating the Flash? Should be dead. Should be dead. Somehow fight went well. That was such an awkward fight to be Mortigush there. So many other mages absolutely cook right there, but we're really single target. 
Um, yet another downside to playing this character out of all the other downsides I already brought up in the beginning. So, <laughs> we... I'm healing a bit. You wanna eat that? No? Kinda waiting on minions to be able to do anything here. I'm just basically down to fight this guy like always and forever. Oh, he's got the stasis up. That's too bad. Alright, I got flash if I need it, so we should be chilling. I probably don't get up. Yeah, I'm dipping. I'm dipping. So, oh! Rampage might have gotten caught lazy backing, unfortunately. I don't think I get to go help him. I think it's worse if I get caught. Since I'm a little more of a late game character. Just in case. Should be good here. I kind of want to sell True Silver, to be honest, <laughs> so far. <laughs> that doesn't seem that important. I think we actually are going to sell it, and I've got money to sell it. God, what do I go instead, though? What could be disgusting? Is Oathkeeper disgusting? Perhaps. Oblivion Crown, just straight up do more damage. Actually, this is probably, it's such an expensive item, too. It probably is disgusting. And then we go build this. What are we looking at? 575 power? Yeah, that's pretty good. I'd say that's decent. Uh, this does not at all look like a good fight. I don't really know why they ran in there. I'll see if we actually get to do anything, though. Yeah, so far looking like just doing a whole lot of dying. Pop this for a little bit of move speed here. Yeah. I think it's just that. Hang on, I'm going to be a little bit greedy because he's a little alone. Get a little poke back where we can. Uh-oh. There's the split push. She was probably doing that for a while. I wasn't paying attention for it. Nice. We poke steel down a lot. You're just going to run it on in? I think I got to try and stay right here. Okay, I don't know if we need to ult it, man. I feel like surely that doesn't even do much, right? <laughs> Am I wrong? It's too bad. This is looking like a tough game to win. Uh, <laughs> that's not even one of the abilities we can yeet. He just lazy back so hard. Like, there's so many abilities in this game that are really obnoxious where it's like, oh, I have chucked it across the entire lane with pinpoint accuracy, and now you don't get it back and you're dead. And then this one's like, this one goes 20 feet. <laughs> like, <laughs> we just got some, we just got some arc on it, man. That's all. Just got that swish. But actually, Moragash Q with like, if they put a little basketball hoop somewhere on the map, would be absolutely hilarious, man. I guess a lot of other abilities would be too, but Moragash Q would be a little better for it. A little easier to use. Okay, this is insanely greedy positioning on my part, but we might be able to get a pick here. Somebody had been down here in left jungle, I don't know if they banked or what. It's looking like they did. Yeah, super greedy. I'm super vulnerable. But we did have like all of our stuff up and we had boys coming, so I figured we'd attempt it. Yeah, like that's me trying to throw it. I'm pretty sure that was max range. All right, hopefully we actually get to do Fangtooth. Apparently Orb takes longer to respawn, which I did not know about. Only just learning that this very game. Because, you know, we did it like simultaneously. That's still got a long cooldown on it at the moment. So let's see if we actually get it done. Feeling like we do probably get rotated in on. I probably sit deep in the pit so that we can flash over the wall if we get in trouble. And then we also get a little more distance for ourselves. Oh, and they're coming. Yeah, why is he just ulting stuff? I'm pretty sure it literally does less DPS than his autos. Okay, not looking good. Trying to get that. Oh, no. I have goofed. I have goofed and we have lost the game. Okay, in all fairness, nice, we actually did get Primal. I don't know if that was me or not. I tried to last hit it there. Um, <laughs> I thought I would, I thought I'd be able to reach that. That was so close. We were legitimately inches away from getting over. In all fairness, um, goofing aside, I, I think we're just like, I, I think best case is I'm still 1v4 defending base there. So I think we just lose either way. Since everybody else would have still been getting wiped. Yeah, it's too bad. We'll have to see. I'm assuming, like, we pull up endgame stats and my damage is absolutely absurd compared to everyone else's. That's just kind of our life. It is actually ridiculous how much we've been able to survive this game on the Moragash while still getting damage, while our team's, like, pretty 50-50 in terms of uh, 
winning fights, normally we're going to get punished a lot more. Which a lot of it has to do with uh, the impact different people have been having. Steel hasn't rotated on us very hard. Greystone has not been very aggro. Um, it has a very slow burn kit to kill me. Grux hasn't really been aggro. So the people that can make plays on me against um, on the other team really didn't try to very much. Which makes my life so much easier. But not easy enough to win apparently. That's too bad. Yeah, I do really hope. I think Morigash is decently fun to play. I hope she gets like some big buffs soon. There's a really big patch on the way. I doubt she gets crazy buffs in it, but like I feel like she needs crazy buffs. I feel like it'd be fair to make her her ult CC immune, her Q bigger, um, her Q hit harder. Like just just some sort of stuff. She can be yeah, yeah, like <laughs> yeah. We did do we did do 55k, and that was kind of ridiculous. That's too bad, man. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video, and I will see you all in the next one. I've been seeking for the glory Say, say, say my name And I've been trying to wrap my own story In the search for fame I'm sitting here in this empty room Walls keep tumbling down